Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And it's time to finally get back into my personal vlog playlist. We're starting a new era as we're over 100 personal vlogs. So here I'm up to personal vlog number 101. I definitely is something that I've been making a few more videos on lately, but it shouldn't be a surprise based on recent content. I'll call this one. Love bowling alley aesthetics. As growing up, I shared that I used to bowl in the YBC, the Youth Bowling Council. I did start off bowling at the now the lanes, the two versions of it, is the longer around in Calgary, the Fairview lanes. The original Fairview lanes used to be at North Hill Center, where there used to be a bowling alley and a movie theater, but that mall has been expanded and changed a lot. Which kind of gets back into why I like bowling alley aesthetics. But that building was demolished. And then the Fairview moved to Pacific Place. Which is the old Franklin Mall. But that also has been gone. I think they left I think in 2007 or 8. But most of the time that I spent in the YPC. And most of the time that I have bowled. The 5 pin game that I talk about. Was at Chinook Bowlodrome. And the Chinook Bowlodrome. It's still around, but as it is according, all bowling alleys are still closed due to the COVID-19 restrictions. And uh, I also think in, during these times that I want to uh, get myself back into the game if I can find a time. Because since my YPC days that I just haven't had time to go bowling. I've done a couple of spring leagues and I briefly was in an adult league for... Well, one adult league was too stuffy for me and then another... It just couldn't fit in with my college anymore, and then work happened, and it's been 15 years since I've been in a bowling league. But when it came back into the bowling aesthetics, it kind of has that you know retro feel that a lot of alleys, especially here in smaller towns, where they still keep that you know old charm. I'm just trying to think the best way to explain it. I mean, other movies I definitely liked is Kingpin, obviously Kingpin with that joke. And then The Big Lebowski. That's, those are definitely classic movies. That involves bowling. That is mostly the 10 pin, which is the most common form of bowling. And I mean, all bowling always kind of have that old retro static, you know, with the colors, you know, the diamonds, the shapes. And, you know, just, you know, how it kind of has that 1950s nostalgic feel. I mean, going back to a couple of the on-the-go vlogs that I've done, which I plan to do more, and I'm on a mission that here in Calgary is I'm going to find what bowling alley that still is around today that I think still gives the best, you know, retro aesthetic. Not necessarily the best bowling alley, but the best alley that gives the retro aesthetics. And I've already shared videos where I talked about the Chinook Center basement. How that basement area still is relatively unchanged, other than, you know, the library not being there anymore. But everything around, you can still tell it was still back in 1960. Despite upstairs, the rest of the mall, it's not even recognizable. And then the Paradise Lanes and the International Avenue on 17th Avenue Southeast, where that old sign is still there, which is a video I recently saw, uh, that I shared. And I also remember that alley. It seems like time has stood still, so I'm definitely looking for that. You know, just sometimes with the decorations and the, you know, the carpeting and just how the whole culture and the aesthetic and you just have to wonder, will that eventually get lost? I mean, not just only with the pandemic, but uh, it seems like this is slowly a dying, you know, you could debate if it's a sport or not. I mean, it's a game. It's a strive to always, you know, be the best. I mean, I obviously love bowling, but I've toned it down definitely a lot since I was a kid. But... Winning is definitely a lot more fun. I definitely was one of those rowdy bowlers that I wanted to win. But as time goes on, I'm just appreciating not only the game, but just the aesthetics as well. I think that also kind of goes back to one of the videos that, like, type of videos I like to watch. When I'm not making content, is talking about dead mall videos. And the same thing with malls. I mean, being in the big city, a lot of malls, I mean, I remember malls as they were when I was growing up. Till today, it's like not recognizable. I mean, you might have like a few. We call this term in the engineering plan industry like back of house, which is kind of away from the you know general public. 
where that area kind of always remains unchanged. But it's the public areas everywhere else. I mean, it's not the same place. And that's kind of like why I like that Chinook Center basement. And then, you know, Paradise Lanes, it kind of has that same feel where it's in a strip mall just off of 17th Avenue where you go downstairs. And then another alley that I haven't talked about yet that I'll eventually share is Toppler Bowl. Another alley that uh, definitely was one heck of an alley. I have some good memories in there because I won one tournament that I'll eventually share in a video. But it's definitely a sardine can that uh, it's not a good facility to have a tournament in because it's so small. But once again, it's just another strip mall off of the main strip where you go downstairs. Maybe it's an undercover game, bowling, because it's, it's, either, it's either in an industrial area where it's in a kind of a warehouse type uh, building where you just walk in on the main floor or it's in a strip mall where you gotta go downstairs. And I also know that the history of bowling that, uh, although you gotta wonder, is it religious or not? Because you hear stories of old churches where bowling alleys are also in the basement of a church, kind of like away from everything. I mean, that's, that's kind of the other retro aesthetics. I think it's just the nature of where the game is built. I mean, you almost gotta wonder how can you recreate it today without keeping the spirit of the retro while well, modern. Because another thing that I see more of, and I think it's I think it's the National, don't quote me on it, I think it's the National Bar on 10th here in Calgary. I mean, here more bars in general, especially in North America, where it's kind of a modern you know, gastro bar where it has the bowling alley. It's a small part of it, but it's the bar, but you can also go bowling. And I think you're starting to see more of that. And not just a dedicated, you know, lanes of bowling. That you're starting to see less of that. Because, I mean, going back to the top where I talked about, you know, bowling alleys that I remember that are no longer around. Well, Fairview is no longer around. Both the original and the one in Pacific Place. I think that got replaced by uh, some kind of immigration office. If I remember at Pacific Place, I mean, the building itself is still there. And then also Fairview was generally the the alley that I you could say was my training ground. I guess Chinook was my home lanes when it comes to my league and most of my tournaments, but Fairview was the closest one that I lived close by and I also used to work in the movie dome, the which that theater is no longer around, the discount movie theater, so also just even in my days off there were times where I decided, well I'll just go bowling and then go catch a movie. So it was all one place. You guess you could still do that, assuming COVID restrictions ever in, let's say at Chinook Center. But, uh, you know, 5-pin, 10-pin. But I know that there's also regional bowling that has the same aesthetics. I know that uh, out in uh, the Atlantic Canada and the northeast of the United States, the other games that I want to try, which is kind of a smaller version of 10-pin, where you have candle pin and duck pin. I mean, I think that's the only places in the world that has that type of bowling. I mean, there's no duck pin or candle pin here in Alberta. Like, there's no, you know, underground, under floor bowling alley that is exclusively candle pin or duck pin. I mean, I can't play that here. I mean, there's five pin, obviously, and ten pin. And five pin is an exclusively Canadian game, as I know. I don't know of five pin being played anywhere else. And then that's where the scoring is different, where the pins are different values in five pin where there's 15 on deck as opposed to 10. That's how the math works, where 450 is a perfect game in 5-pin as opposed to 300 in, you know, 10-pin, candle pin, and duck pin. But I also hear that candle pin and duck pin is so difficult that you need three balls, just like 5-pin, where you only need two balls in 10-pin, that no one has bowled a perfect game in candle pin or duck pin. Hey, I would like to be the first to do that. How about... I would like to be the first to do a perfect game in 5-pin, 10-pin, and those games as well. But I also know that there's a 9-pin version of bowling that goes back to Germany and that I hear in some parts in Texas. And that's, you know, going off the beaten path out of the main city where they have, I've seen stories about 9-pin where it's a, it seems to be like a dying game where it's still in an old retro building that... Uh, it looks like it's kind of like in a barn or a church, going back to the church and underground where this bowling alley is. And, and you know, I've seen news stories where 
it you know looks like it's still stuck from 30, 40, 50 years ago or hear about that cattle pin or duck pin lanes out in the northeast in the US or even a lot of Canada where it's not in a big city but you hear that uh, you know it's barely it's, it's barely enough so it's running where people still play the game but I'm talking like all the mechanics and all that but uh, you know I'm just loving those past aesthetics that you see I mean if you just picture a bowling alley with the neon signs or just how you know how to get the metal cladding for each lane and you might see a diamonds or particular shapes and just the different you know pastel colors I mean, just watch Kingpin or watch uh, the Big Lebowski. You definitely, you know, get that feel. And I think there was another indie movie that I watched that uh, was on a movie network. I think it actually was called Seven Ten Split or something. Where I think that's what it was. It was back like in twenty ten. It wasn't in theaters, but I caught on to watch that movie as well. Once again, it showed the aesthetics of the alley. I think eventually, if I remember, it was some guy who was bowling 10 pin and then it was just like he casually bowled like 270, 280 and then all the time and then someone asked him, is that what you do all the time? And he said, he used to try to join the tour but they showed like this person's journey going across the U.S. and uh, driving in like, you know, a car that apparently could drive but uh, I mean, that's just all the aesthetics and that's definitely what I plan to do to uh, Capture, find which alley still in Calgary that gives me that best of sex. I mean, of course, this is my personal opinion. I mean, what I would like would be different than someone else, but uh, I just feel it's a it's a game or a sport, depending on what you call it. I do remember back in 2005 that when the NHL lockout was on and there was not much going on, I remember the Sun was doing like some kind of series just to fill the time at that time about is this a sport and they talked about things like snooker, bowling, I think they even, that was actually when poker was also uh, starting to pick on or pick, take off or people are watching poker on TV, like those kind of games, like is it a sport? I mean there's also debate about should bowling be an Olympic event and, and I'm going to assume it's only to be 10 pin but you know you can make a good living bowling 10 pin if you were on the tour especially in the US but it all goes back to those aesthetics that it, I definitely love and it seems like it's starting to slowly die off or the game die off completely or as always someone's going to decide hey we need to uh, wreck these retro stacks just like with malls someone's like hey we need to make this a boring white box and lose the character and that's what I love about it and I just want to try to preserve it so what do you think of uh, bowling alley stacks do you love the bowling alley retro stacks as much as I do in addition to the game if you ever go to the bowling alley just it just has that, you know, distinctive charm and feel, and that's what I'm after. And hopefully I'll get to share, you know, as time goes on. That's, of course, if bowling alleys are allowed to ever open again. And then, of course, if I ever travel out and try these other games, maybe share that down the road. Well, that's not going to be anytime soon, but uh, you know what I gain at. So anyways, I always say, if you want to follow along this Calgary Sports fan's journey, Home the Flames, Hip, and Roughnecks, and Stampeders. I mostly do talk Calgary Sports on my YouTube channel. But I also do a variety of non-sports content, like personal vlogs, attempt to comedy, and also do sharing my experience I'm on the road or a sport event. And I've also been experimenting with a lot more logging on the go. So if that all sounds like be interesting to watch to follow along this Calgary Sports Fans journey, you know what you do, just uh, make sure you like, subscribe. I also have my other social media links down in the description below, where I have been slowly sharing some retro aesthetics when it comes to bowling alleys that I'm after. So as I want to say, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll see you in the lanes. Get some strikes and spares, and I'll see you in the next video.